Ladies and gentlemen, it is November, and so it is also time for a channel update. This one is a little bit late, and we're going to have some exciting news about the coming charity live stream and new games and other stuff here. But first, we're going to talk about what has happened recently and also a little bit about why this update is late. As you know, if you've been keeping up with these, I have moved recently, and since moving, I've had very little video backlog stuff, meaning I only finished videos one at a time just before they needed to be done. This isn't a terrible problem, but then once in a while you get a week like uh, the last few weeks, with tons of snapshots and lots of work that way, and it can become really hard to keep up. Last weekend I went to a LAN party with my friends, which meant I couldn't get much video work done, but it was awesome fun as usual. Had the whole family with me there this time as well, which was great too. Uh, much of the footage for this channel update is going to be from the weird and wonderful games that we played there. Feed the Beast Continuum has also started. It took the place of Forever Stranded, which has ended. I've uh, tried to make that a little high production value, so there's some theme music and some quick replay mod intros, and the response thus far has been pretty positive. I am looking forward to the future for that. So I've been trying to get back on top of my channel, make sure I have a backlog and so on, and uh, well, after the move a few months back, things have looked better and better. And now this weekend I was determined I'd do tons of recording and stuff and I'd be in great shape. Uh, so I started out on Friday recording tomorrow's episode of Mass Effect to begin with. All good, then went to have some dinner and rest for a bit, and, uh, and I wasn't feeling all that into it after that, so I told my girlfriend, you know, I think I'm just gonna take the evening off, relax, and play some games. And she was like, yeah, you should do that, you haven't had much time to relax lately. So I went to my computer, figured I'd play some Rocket League. Um, tried to start the game, nothing happened. Tried to figure out what was going on, couldn't get much of a response out of it, so I went like, fine, computer's gonna compute, so I'll just reboot. Well, long story short, the computer comes up without my main recording drive. Basically, it turns out that that drive was one of Seagate's most infamous bad drives. So bad, in fact, that they had a class action lawsuit thrown at them for the massive failure rate. So yeah, instead of relaxing, I spent a huge chunk of that evening trying to analyze what had happened and see if I could breathe some life into this disc. And then I played some Rocket League on my laptop, so yeah, I did get the chance to play some. Anyway, so instead of spending this weekend making videos and stuff, I spent it uh, getting new hardware and setting up a new storage system and stuff like that. I had intended to do that anyway, but it really sucked that it happened this way. The data on that might be completely lost, I still need to investigate whether it's worth trying to recover it, but hopefully there wasn't anything too critical on there. Lost a good chunk of video archives, that's for sure, but the worst part of it is just a ton of extra work. Anyway, enough of that. Let's look forward to the fun stuff coming up. And to begin with, I am really happy to announce that in just about three weeks from now, starting at noon Central European time on the 24th of November, that's a Saturday, the third charity livestream is going to take place. Now I'm not entirely ready to reveal a schedule for the event just yet, but if you've seen any of the previous ones, you'll know roughly what's in store. I will say that just like previous times, we'll start up a weird Minecraft challenge. As with the early terms, this is a 24-hour livestream that is a charity drive benefiting the Prevent Cancer Foundation. The sad background for this is that in the year before I started my YouTube channel, I lost my mother to cancer. So I want to do what I can to help prevent this horrible disease from affecting more lives. Now, if you donate during the stream, not only will you help save lives, you'll also have a chance at winning some pretty cool swag, as well as the option to affect how some of the games go on the stream. You'll find out more information about that later as we approach the stream itself. So I'm very happy to finally be able to run a new charity stream. As you might know, the plans for the stream last year got messed up and it ended up never happening, so I'm really happy about running it this year. Let's talk about another thing coming up. We've spoken before about Mass Effect ending soon, and uh, while it's taken a bit longer than I thought, it's also obvious that it will, fairly soon, be over. And before, I've spoken about new games to play, and I got a bunch of good suggestions from all of you. Many of which I really like, but mostly older games, which is, to be honest, not the best for a YouTube channel. There is a new thing on the horizon though, so I thought I'd see what you think about that too. Fallout 76 is releasing this month. There may be some overlap, but it should be a pretty good timing for the end of the Mass Effect series. 
I also do love Fallout. And despite this one being a little bit of a weird multiplayer adaptation, that might actually be a bit of a benefit to making a good Let's Play series out of it. Especially if I find some good other people to play with, so I'd love to hear what you think about the prospect of that. On the topic of a new main Minecraft challenge series, that is still set for whenever we have updated Forge and Replay mod versions for Minecraft 1.13, so we're still sort of in a holding pattern for that one. It's going to be an awesome challenge though, I'm still really looking forward to it. Anyway, that's going to do it for this time. More news on the Charity Lime stream will appear over the coming weeks, and please let me know what you think of Fallout 76 in the comments below. As always, thank you for all of your support. Thanks for being subscribed, thanks for commenting, thanks for liking, thanks for sharing my videos, and of course, a special thanks for everyone who supports me on Patreon. All of it means a lot to me, especially when things go pear-shaped, like they did this weekend. Makes it easier to power through. So thank you. Slice Flame, out.